Okay, so this is video four, and we are talking about setting up the Retovis RT3 and MD380 uh, using a code plug that's already been set up, and we're just going through, first of all, and explaining uh, how to make changes and what all the different functions mean. So we're now talking about channel information, and we're looking at a digital channel. And uh, This is for talk group one on GB7KM. Now we can see here, channel mode is set to digital. Our options are analog or digital, and we know it's a digital channel, very straightforward. Bandwidth is 12.5 kilohertz. We don't really have much of a choice on digital, so we leave it as is. Scan list, uh, we've got a scan list already set up, so we'll come back to that in a moment, but it doesn't really matter for this purpose. You can leave this as none. Uh, personally, I don't use scan lists, so generally I would keep this as none anyway. Uh, but if you uh, have set up a scan list, then then obviously you would set it here, but we'll explain that uh, in a moment. Squelch, uh, normal or type, this uh, relates to really on the analog side at the end where you uh, uh, would hear um, uh, the, the ch noise. Uh, obviously the tighter uh, reduces that, but on digital it's pretty meaningless anyway because we don't really have that. So don't worry about that, ignore that on digital. Uh, RX uh, ref frequency, we always keep this as low. The timeout timer relates to how long you can talk for. Now on digital, the standard practice is 180 seconds. Um, if you try and talk for any more than 180 seconds, whilst your radio might allow you to, uh, the most repeaters will cut you off and therefore you won't know that you've been cut off. So we strongly suggest that you set this to 180 seconds uh, to avoid that embarrassing time when you're waffling away and nobody can hear you. The timeout type rekey delay basically is a way of stopping you from keying up too quickly. So if you've keyed up uh, for 180 seconds and you get to the end, you de-key, this would basically add a buffer between you being able to key back up. Now, a lot of people will set this to just a second or two seconds, you know, just to try and remind themselves to, to leave a pause between overs. Uh, but, you know, if, you, if you're reasonably disciplined and you're happy that you're going to leave your own pauses between overs to allow other people in, uh, then obviously keep it as zero. Your power, either low or high, I'm sure I don't need to tell you, you know, if, if you're... Um, if you're going to be in a situation where you're always going to need to use low power, then keep it at low. If, if it's always high, then keep it at high. Remember, you can set up a, 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 a button on your radio to be able to toggle between the two anyway. So that's not a big challenge. Whatever you set it to here can be changed. A channel name, the convention here, uh, I tend to use two or three numbers to represent the talk group number something very brief to describe what the talk group's about and then always put the last two letters of the repeater at the end. Reason I do it that way is because the channel name will be cut off when it's viewed on the radio and that's just purely because the radios themselves only show you I think it's 11 or 12 characters so uh, squeeze as much as you can into the beginning uh, 11 or 12 characters because the rest will be meaningless on the radio but very useful in the code plug to have the KM at the end as you can see because it makes it easier to find the km channels when you're looking in this uh, in this view rx frequency and tx frequency you can of course get that from the websites or from the handout cards like this one here that you can see uh, so you can see that um, uh, the rx frequency 4396625 tx frequency 4306625 for gb7 km the admit criteria should be set to color code. Uh, that's basically meaning that uh, whilst the color code is uh, in use, it won't allow you to transmit. And uh, that's exactly the way it should be on all digital repeaters. Uh, if you're using simplex channels, then that would be set to none uh, or always, depending on the type of radio you're using. Auto scan, RX only, lone worker, Vox, and allow talk around. Keep these all unticked. Don't use those. Top right hand corner, none of this needs to be ticked. Emergency system, make sure that's set to none or no. Your group name, now this, the group name is the digital contact. So remember back here, a couple of videos ago, we created our digital contacts, which were these. Okay, so your group call contacts, and then as long as you've created them here, you'll be able to select them 
uh, as contacts here and you have to select a contact name if you don't select this the radio won't know which talk group that it's it's going to be transmitting on so you need to uh, need to set the talk group the group list now this refers to your digital rx group list which we've already set up as either phoenix slot one or slot two now we know that um, and again we're going to refer back to our card here that talk group number one for worldwide calling is in slot one so therefore we're going to use group list phoenix slot one we know that uh, the color code for this particular repeater is color code three now that applies to the whole repeater itself so we know that because it's on the card uh, so we've set our color code as three we know that talk group one is on slot one so repeater slot is one and privacy uh, again it's not something we use on dmr so we have this set as none now as you're going through and programming channels up you'll find that from repeater to, uh, talk group to repeater talk group the only thing that is going to change within the repeater is going to be the information on the far right hand side so the contact name uh, is obviously going to change depending on the talk group you're on the slot number so phoenix s1 or s2 in the uh, the group list is going to change depending on what slot you're on the repeater slot obviously does change so remember down here we've got uh, talk group 8 and talk group 8 10 are on slot 2 so obviously at that that point you'll change it here and change it here but uh, everything will remain on slot 3 so that's how we set up our phoenix repeaters and uh, analog stuff just as easy so let's look at gb3ub so this is an analog repeater and you can see analog again you've got the choice now 12 and a half or 25 obviously 12 and a, 12 and a half is standard over here um, your scan list obviously you'd set that to an appropriate scan list so i'm going to set it to none your squelch again remember you can either have it as tight or normal i always use normal again rf frequency tx frequency keep us low your timeout timer uh, depends on the given repeater um, you know t I tend to try and stick everything at 180 uh, again timeout time re key delay is the same thing again stopping you from transmitting too quickly if you need that put in the frequencies of course at the top uh, and a nice name your admit criteria is uh, is always going to be set to to always this is uh, to allow you to transmit uh, so keep that as always and then down here in analog data this is where you need to be putting your ctc uh, ctcss information and you put it down here in uh, in this box here uh, other than that just leave everything exactly the same and uh, and you should be absolutely fine simplex channels straightforward as well so again same sort of information analog 12 and a half again set up your scan list so you know whether it be analog or none or what have you um, and again all the same sort of settings that we just used um, but obviously no ct css unless of course you need it for the uh, uh, for some particular bizarre reason and that's really it that's so that's that's how the channels are set up and uh, what i tend to do is try and remember to always add 16 channels at a time so you'll see here that here's my tc group uh, because i've actually only programmed up 15 tc channels there's a channel 16 here and i would then leave a blank and then add another 16 channels next time i create a new zone that means that they're always going to appear together which makes it nice and easy when it comes to trying to make adjustments or change things around come back in the next video for more information on scan lists